One thing that we have seen a lot in the sequel trilogy so far is the death of a lot of main characters, starting off with Han Solo and Luke Skywalker, and now a lot of people are wondering who's next. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, when it comes to Episode 9, we do know that J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio will be bringing a lot of twists and turns and surprises to the table for a lot of fans around the world for Episode 9. Now, one thing that we do know is that Episode 9 will actually end filming by February of 2019. Each month that passes by, we get closer to the very end of Principal Photography. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. Now, one of the set designs, one of the filming locations and sessions, could very well hint at the death of Chewbacca in Episode 9. Now, what's really interesting is that a sequence over in Jordan that was filmed featured John Boyega, Daisy Ridley, and Oscar Isaac near a crashed speeder with some fire around it. Next to the speeder, actor Yuna Swatama was found laying on his back in the Chewbacca costume, with the actors playing Ray, Finn, and Poe surrounding him as if they rushed to his aid. Chewie's bowcaster, from what it appeared to be, was laying on the ground next to him. It's been said that this scene is a scene of danger for our characters. The sequence came sometime after Yunus as Chewbacca is lifted in the air with wire work from an explosion that would most likely be added in with CGI. Now, we actually went over this briefly, I, I would say about a month or two ago, about Disney and Lucasfilm taking the big risk, and I believe it is a risk, of killing off yet another main character in the Star Wars franchise, specifically characters that are tied to the Skywalker saga. So, our legacy characters in the sequel trilogy, we have Luke, Leia, Lando, Han, and Chewbacca. Those are our top legacy characters in the Skywalker saga. So, looking at Chewbacca and the potential death for him in Episode 9, I think would be a terrible move, and I think it would be the worst move that Disney and Lucasfilm could make, and that's just my opinion. If you guys think that Chewbacca's death would be great in Star Wars Episode 9 and serve an absolute great purpose, that's perfectly fine and okay and all. But I just feel like that killing off Chewbacca in Star Wars Episode 9 wouldn't be the right route to go. If anything, it, it really should be one of the sequel trilogy characters like, let's say for example, Poe Dameron. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Originally in The Force Awakens, Poe Dameron was supposed to die, and Oscar Isaac actually started negotiating with J.J. Abrams to keep him alive in the script, and so they did. So, shockingly here, originally, Poe Dameron was supposed to actually be killed off in The Force Awakens. So I wouldn't find it surprising if they actually did kill off Poe in Episode 9. But as for a legacy character, such an iconic Star Wars character that a lot of people love to the heart, Chewbacca, I feel like would be the worst move, killing him off. Now, granted, you know, in Star Wars Episode 7, we saw the loss of Han Solo. In Episode 8, we saw the loss of Luke Skywalker. You know, what's to say that they wouldn't kill off Chewbacca? But to me, I feel like that Chewbacca is a character that's very much tied with a lot of fans out there. He's very iconic, and it seems like a character that you just can't kill off. Same thing with the droids, right? Like R2-D2 and C-3PO. Now, this sequence, we have been hearing about this on and off that went over in Jordan. It's a lot of, you know, wire work, a lot of green screens, explosions, and pyrotechnics, and speeder chases. It's a massive battle, right, between both Rey, Chewie, Poe, Finn, some troopers, some creatures, I guess natives to that planet, etc. A lot is really happening for this sequence, and honestly, this is going to be one of the major parts of the movie. They actually have been shooting over in Jordan now for basically three months, alright? So they started shooting, generally speaking, episode 9 on August 1st, and they will be ending in February. Three months of that was all shot in Jordan, so that's three whole months dedicated to this one location 
over in Jordan, whatever planet it's going to be, whether it's Jeddah, Jakku, Tatooine, uh, another planet that we have no clue about, it's really hard to say at this point in time right now. My honest belief is that this is Jakku, just the other side of the planet where there's a different side to the story and ties to Emperor Palpatine and the Jakku Observatory, stuff like that. I would love to see that. Uh, but as far as the speeder chase, I believe that this is most definitely tied with the speeder chase that we have been hearing about. It's a lot of speeders going after each other, Rey uses a speeder, it's a battle sequence, it's a speeder chase sequence in which a lot of them are blowing up and exploding, there's a lot of fire. So things are happening in this movie and this is a dangerous sequence for our characters. Now, Chewbacca dying in episode 9, I don't know about you guys, but I can see that it would really cause a lot of backlash by fans. I feel like a lot of people would be very angry and just wouldn't accept that. I would really love to hear your two cents about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.